So what I want to do is make it look like there's like some warm light and some cool light coming onto the sepia thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and dip my sponge into some filthy paint water from yesterday and I'm just going to dip it in this yellow paint and then I'm going to put it on the top of this dragon. Just like I don't even care. Just everywhere because I'm going to try to make it look like it's in sort of I don't know, canopy on the trees and stuff, like lights coming down at him. So, put some yellow on there. I guess I'll put a little bit of yellow on the tail here, too. And as I'm doing this, the paint's running out of my sponge, which is actually giving me kind of a cool natural gradient of the wash as I go down. I'm liking that. I didn't really plan this, just sort of seems to be what the paint is doing. So it's kind of lighter here and it's a lot more intense yellow up there. Uh, and all of this I'm going to paint over later. And then what I want to do is take the other end of my sponge, which is, uh, you know, filthy looking but dry, and I'm going to dip that in the water. And I'm going to dip that in this blue paint here. That's probably a little too much. I'm just going to dab it off. Um, and then I'm going to put it underneath where I want the color to be cool. And again, that's just kind of going to go abs of fucking everywhere. Um, mostly kind of, you know, towards the viewer and under the forms. Like putting it under this tree down here. I'm going to go under this dragon's jaw and in his mouth a little bit, kind of pushing some things back. And what this does is it'll add a bunch of color so I won't actually have to mess around and make the paint um, have much color variation later. Um, it'll just kind of be under there and I won't have to think about it so hard. Let's see, there's a bunch of blue there. Whenever it gets, you know, if I put too much on, I just take a drier part of the sponge and sponge it away before it dries. Like, I had too much blue there. I want that to be a little more yellow, so I just kind of sponged it away. Um, that's, I don't know. That's basically what I'm doing for this. Just maybe want a little... I'll mix some blue into the yellow on the side of his face just to give him a cool side of his head so that maybe the light's coming from sort of up in this direction a little. I guess that's what I can do. I don't know what I'm doing. But this is going to be warm and cool whether you know my color choices are appropriate or not. Well, I'm making this blue under here. I'll kind of bring a shadow across. Maybe the tail's kind of casting a little bit of shadow or something that way. I haven't really figured that out yet. So that's my, that is my first wash on top of everything. I think that worked out okay. I don't know. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll take all this while it's wet and I'll just go hit it with the blow dryer. And so it'll be bone dry and then what I'm going to do is put a green wash over it. And then do the same thing. I'll uh, hit the green wash with the blow dryer and then I'll start adding the real colors. I'll start making this dragon red and this dog like brown or whatever and this tree stuff green or whatever uh, fake tree color I'm gonna make this. And that's that's where I'm at. <laughs>